Apple's Reminders application is better than most people give it credit for, and it's getting even better with iOS 16. So in this video, I'm going to show you what's new in Reminders with this new update, along with some useful tips and tricks that you're probably not using. Let's start with the new features introduced with iOS 16. You can now pin important lists to the top of the Reminders application. All you have to do is right here under My Lists, just haptic press on that list and you will see a new option there for pin. Simply tap on that and it will pin it up here in this little section up top. And if you tap on these three dots right here and go to edit lists, you can move this around. So if you want it closer to the top, you can move it right there, then tap done and you can see it has moved in the position. This feature is similar to how you pin notes in the notes application. And by the way, if you want to see how to best use the notes app in iOS 16, I did also make a video on that and I will leave that linked down in the description below. We also have a new list that's added by default called completed. And this is going to show you all of your completed tasks in one section. So you can see up top, it even says we have 92 completed reminders and you also get the option there to clear all of them if you want to before in ios 15 and earlier you had to go into a specific list then tap the three dots and then go to show completed you did not have a full-on section just for every completed reminder we also have some changes when we go into a list so i'm going to have ios 15 on the left ios 16 on the right if we go into our ios 16 list right here you will see that the ios 16 text the title text is now up top as opposed to being this big blue text over there on the left on iOS 15. We also have a lot more space now, so the individual tasks are a little bit smaller. We do also have this little window icon right there, which if you tap on that, that is a template. So we can now add templates in iOS 16 as well. I'll talk about that here in a moment. We also have the share sheet up top, whereas we did not have a share sheet over there on iOS 15, so a lot of visual changes. And then also when we add a new reminder to this list, you can see that we can now add a note to this actual task without having to tap on the I. So before you had to tap on the I and then you could add notes to that task. Now you can do it straight from this section right here. And then speaking of notes, they now support rich text. So you can now copy and paste your rich text from notes. If you have like bold, italics, bullet points or anything like that, you can see I have some bullet points right here underneath of this task. And if you go to one of your reminders and you tap on the I right here, if you go down to priority in iOS 15, it opened up a whole new page right here, a whole new window but now in ios 16 it's a simple pop out right here which makes it easy to change that priority without going into a whole new window now let's talk about templates because this is a big new feature in ios 16 that allows you to save any list as a template and you're also able to share it with others so if i go into let's just say i go to my youtube videos list right here and let's say i want to set this as a template and maybe create something for like instagram videos or tiktok videos if i tap on the three dots up here you will see that we have a new option for save as template. If I tap on that, you can see we get this new menu here that says save as template. And you also have the option to include completed reminders. So you have the option to turn that on or off, then just simply tap on save, you get an animation, and you see those little windows up there indicating that this is a template. And if you go back and you go up to the three dots up top, you will see you have a section here for templates and you can see information about those templates. You could also delete them very easily from right here. And if you tap on the I, you get the option to edit or share. Now, if you tap on share template, you're able to share this with another person and you can include the date and time and you can also include the tags. And if you tap on continue, let's just go ahead to continue. And now you get the option to send that to somebody in a text message, email. You can copy the iCloud link and send it to somebody. However you want to share that, you can do that. And the other person can import your template. And once you've saved a template, if you go to add a new list, you will see that we have a new option for templates right here. So if you go to that, you will see your different templates that you've saved right there. And you're able to create a new list based off of that template. Now, something very small that was long overdue is that we now have a badge on our reminders application on the home screen when a task is due today. So before, if you had a task due today, it would not show a badge there. Now, if we go into our settings and then go down to our reminders, you will see that we have a brand new option out here 
for include due today. So it says include both overdue and due today items and badge count. So you definitely wanna make sure you enable that on iOS 16. And if we go into our scheduled list, you can see on iOS 16, the dates are a lot smaller. The font size is a lot smaller. We don't have these big pluses right underneath the dates and everything's just laid out a little bit cleaner here. The smart list has gotten even smarter with iOS 16. So if you create a new smart list, you're now able to filter by any or all. So in iOS 15, a smart list could only be created to match all of the criteria on the list. Now it can match any. So if I go to any right there, it can include any of these filters. So if we have tags, dates, time, location, it can match any of those and it will show up in that specific list. If you share a list with somebody, you can now get notifications when tasks are added or completed. Also now on the iOS 16 lock screen, if you go to customize right here and you go to the widget section, you're now able to add widgets for reminders right here on the lock screen. So you can see it will show your upcoming reminders right there on the lock screen at a glance that is very convenient. And if you tap on it, once you add it, you can see you can even change the list. So if you want a different list to show up right there, you can choose which one you want to show up and it will show the contents from that list right there on your lock screen. So as you can see, the reminders application has been greatly improved with iOS 16, and I've been really loving the new features that have been added. So now let's talk about some tips and tricks to get the most out of reminders, and I'm willing to bet that you're not using all of these tips. So first off, use Siri to add reminders instead of typing. Never type out a reminder. It is always infinitely longer than just asking Siri to do it. So let me just say this. Remind me to call Brian back on Thursday at 9 a.m. Boom, just like that, it's done. I have a date, I have a time, and I have a description that took way less time than it would to type it out. Add bread to my grocery list. And you can see that since I had a list called groceries, it added that to the groceries list and not just my default list. You can also throw in a location there. Remind me when I get home to shoot this YouTube video. And since I have my location added to my contact, you can see it will remind me about this reminder once I arrive to my house. Another tip that you should definitely be doing in the Reminders app is making recurring reminders. So if you have something that you do every week, every month, every three months, whatever it is, you should set up a recurring reminder. So to do that, if you go into one of your tasks right here, one of your reminders, if you tap on the I right there, you have this repeat button right here, where you can set it to repeat at a certain interval. However, a quicker and easier way to do that is just to ask Siri. Remind me to pay the electric bill on the 10th of every month at 10 a.m. Now I have a recurring reminder set to pay the electric bill at a specific time and date and it's on a monthly interval, all without typing in anything. So again, guys, take advantage of using Siri to set up your reminders. Another useful tip is to attach a reminder to a message. So if you go into your details of one of your reminders right here, and you go down, you will see this when messaging toggle. If you turn that on, you will now have a reminder notification when you're chatting with that person and messages. And this can really help you remember things. You know, if you maybe forget it, if you ignore your notifications, you're going to get a new type of notification when you're messaging that person. And it really helps you remember. And since I'm messaging this person, you can see I got a time sensitive notification here that says because you're messaging this person, you can also create folders in the reminders application. So if you take one of your lists right here and you drag and drop right over top of reminders, you'll get this right here for new group. So I type in group and it includes two lists. You could also add different lists right there if you want to and tap on create. You will now have a new group that shows up down here under my list. This could also be great if you have a lot of different reminders and you wanted to kind of simplify the experience and make everything look cleaner and more organized. Another tip that I use all the time is adding reminders straight from the mail application so that I do not forget to respond to a specific email. So for example, if I wanted to respond to this email, but I don't have time right now and I want to remind myself to respond later, I can simply select the text right here, any of the text that you want to be included in the reminder and you have it selected, go to the over button right here on this menu and then tap on share and it will pull up the share sheet right here. Now on the share sheet, scroll over and you will see reminders right there. Simply tap on that and you can see it sets up your reminder right here. You could also go into details to add different things if you want to. 
simply tap on add. And now when you go back into the reminders application and go to that list, you will see that you have that right there along with a little mail icon. And what's cool about this is that when you tap on mail, it will take you directly to that message in the mail application. And the beautiful thing about this is that you could actually do this in pretty much any application. So if I wanted to go to Safari, for example, and I wanted to remind myself about, you know, these iOS 16 release notes, all I need to do is simply go to the share sheet right here, go over to reminders, tap on reminders, and you will see it has the little embed right there of this web page. tap on add. And now when we go back to our reminders application, you will see that we have the website down there. And when you tap on that, it will take you straight to the website along with a reminder for whatever you want it to be reminded about. So app integration with reminders is something that I think a lot of people don't utilize as much as they should. Another tip is to share your list with somebody if you think it's going to be useful. So for example, grocery list, if you live with somebody, a significant other or your parents, you may want to share Share this with them so you could see you know especially if you guys go grocery shopping together who is marking things off of the list you know in real time so tap on the share button up there in the top right you could share this with somebody and then they will be able to have this list and see this list and they will get notifications when something is added or checked off this is also useful if you're maybe you know going to a baby shower or something like that and you have a list of things that people are buying you want to be able to see you know if somebody else bought something so you don't buy the same thing so there's a lot of use cases for sharing a list here and reminders. Smart lists are also heavily underrated in the reminders application. So if you go to create a new list, you will see this option here for make into smart list. If you tap on that, you have the option to include reminders that match one or all of these criteria. So that ranges from the tags, the date, the time, the location, the list, the priority. You can change all of that there and have a basically a smart list that removes things automatically based on different parameters. So for instance, if I did tags, if I just did, let's just say selected tags, and we're going to select iOS 16 right there. Let's tap on done. So we have iPad 16 right here. You'll see that it is a smart list because it has this little gear icon in the bottom right hand corner. So now this automatically populates based on the iOS 16 tag right there. So if I were to remove you know, the iOS 16 tag from one of these it will be automatically removed from that list. Another tip is that you should go into your settings, go to reminders and make sure you change your default list to the list that you're going to use most often. Because if you ask Siri to add a reminder, it's going to put it on the default list unless you specify the specific list you want to add that reminder to. So for me, for example, most of the reminders that I add go into the YouTube videos list. So I'm going to set that as my default list. So I don't need to specify about a Siri every time I want to add a new reminder. And then something else I love doing is adding subtasks. So if you go to the details of a reminder, you will see you have subtasks right here and you can add reminders underneath that main reminder. So if you have like record a video, get a video done, for example, you can maybe have record the video and we also have edit video then we have do thumbnail so all of these things are basically subtasks under the one main task of getting a video uploaded so if you tap on that you could see you have these different subtasks underneath the main task right here the main reminder and i find that very useful when you're creating a reminder you have all these little quick options down here and you should definitely take advantage of those so you have the date right here so you could quickly select today tomorrow next weekend or a specific time you also have this one right here for location so you can set it to when arriving home or getting in a car or custom you have your hashtags right here, your different tags that you could add. You have your flag for the importance. And you also have this camera right here where you can take photo, photo library, scan document, or scan text. So there you have it. That is the reminders application in iOS 16, a great improvement over iOS 15. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for more tutorials and tips and tricks just like this one. I do also have more tips and tricks for the reminders application. So if you guys would like to see those, let me know in a comment down below. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.